Hello, in this C video, I am going to show you the if else statement. So if you don't know what this is, which is an if statement, I highly recommend that you watch the previous video, which was covering well if statements, which allow you to use relational operators and you know relational statements in here to check if a condition is true. If it's true, do this. But what if you want to run a piece of code if the condition isn't true? Because we could put code outside of it but then that code is gonna get run all the time, regardless of whether the condition is true or false. And what we'll say is, I'm gonna put date. And let's say the date is, let's say day, for example. It's gonna be 08. And I'm gonna base it around the fact of Halo, because Halo Infinite is coming out today, the campaign. And say month. 12 and into year equals 2021. Okay, so what we want to say is if all these conditions are true, then you know Halo Infinite is out. So we'll say, and this will show you how you can combine multi multiple relational statements. So if I say day is so, so the interesting thing here is if the year is ah see so this is very interesting because the, if the year is greater than 2022 then the game is technically i mean 2021 then the game is out so it has to be either one of these 2021 i can now uh, we'll say this if it's greater than 2021 then the game is out it, it, it's as simple as that and we'll say uh, Halo Infinite campaign is out. And we'll also put, I'm going to put another condition. We'll put a new line. And I will, I will say if the year is equal to 2021 and the month because we can't get a month below you know, 12, 4, I mean above 12, so it has to be December. If month is equal to 12, and day is greater than or equal to 8, obviously we're not doing any checks if, you, you know, if the amount of days are correct, so if we'll put 35, still work, but like let's ignore that, then the game is out. But otherwise we'll say else if else if and what this means is this condition if this condition is false then this condition will be checked it only gets checked if the first condition is false if it's true then this doesn't get checked so in here we'll say if year is equal to 2021 and and the month is you know, less than or equal to 12. Um, let's say less than or equal to 21. And the month is less than or equal to 12. And the, say the day, um, well, day is less than or equal to 8. Then we'll say print F. Halo Infinite campaign is not out. Okay, so if I give that a run, it should say Halo Infinite campaign is out. If let's say change that to last year, and Halo Infinite campaign is not out. But what you can say is you can also do an else statement. And what the else does is if any other condition is false. I mean, if this is false, anything else would make it run. So let's say I put a boundary and I say and and year is greater than or equal to 2001. I think that's when, was it that, was that when the, when Halo came out, the original Halo? I can't remember. Somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. Then we'll, we'll keep it as that. But then we'll say else, 
if let's say we do the year at a really like you know really like a year ages ago we'll say even the first halo is not out yet and if i give that run it says halo infinite infinite campaign is not out but if i change the year to let's say 2000 so it's not within this boundary therefore that is false that is false i need to fall back to what's ever in the printf hmm. well, i don't know what that's moaning about Yeah, I don't know what we're on about. Okay, even the first halo is not out. Yeah, so that, that's it. So that's the if else statement. And you can actually chain as many of these else ifs as you want. So you have one else and multiple else ifs. And at the end, you can have an optional else, which is the fallback if all of the conditions are false. So that's the if else, if else statement in C. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message on Discord. There's a link in the description along with a link to the GitHub page where you can get all the source code. Also, feel free to check out my YouTube shorts now, doing it on TikTok and Instagram as well, where you can see just little programming tips, no fluff, no meme, no jokes, actual like 60 seconds or less programming tips. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.